The Cowboy and Indian Alliance gathered at the Capitol Tuesday morning to kick off a five-day protest against the expansion of the Keystone XL pipeline. It's beautiful and it's ironic. You know, we've uh, we fought in the past, and today it it takes. Uh, people of different nations, backgrounds, influences to stand side by side. The alliance is made up of landowners, farmers, and Native Americans that live along the proposed route of the expanded pipeline, which would cut through both Dakotas, Nebraska, and Kansas. We feed the world in the Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Kansas. We need our pure water. We don't want it contaminated with oil. The alliance worries that the pipeline will leak and damage resources. Shane Redhawk, a Lakota, said the tribe's main water source on the reservation is in the pipeline's direct route. It's tar sands. It's not just oil. It's, it's more disastrous. It's more devastating. If, these, uh, if the tar sands spill, it would, uh, it would definitely cause a lot of people to be looking for fresh water elsewhere. You know, the desecration of such places is also uh, is, is devastating to my people, but not only uh, the water level. The protest was supposed to be timed to the president's decision on the expansion of the pipeline, but the decision has been delayed. Some landowners, like Mike Blocker of Nebraska, think that the delay has political gains for the upcoming midterm elections. Uh, we just hope that uh, he's not playing political football here and messing around with our land and water, which we need to survive. The protest started in front of the Capitol for a ceremonial exchange of gifts and a water ceremony. Then, on horseback and on foot, the Alliance turned down Independence Avenue toward a teepee encampment on the Mall, where they will remain the rest of the week. On Saturday, the group will march to the White House. This is Anna Passaro for Medill News Service, reporting for McClatchy.